Gertie, come on. Come here, you. Okay, guys, we're back for day two. I'm going to chop up the top of this eastern white pine that we got the 18-foot log out of it uh, yesterday. That's all going to go to firewood. It's going to have to cure for a couple of years, but at least we're going to use it for something. And then I'm going to cut a few more red pines today, hopefully get those dropped, and I've got some other stuff to work on. i got to say that council tool axe that I got, that wedge pounder, is dull as hell. So I'm going to spend a little time on that axe in the shop tonight, I think, and get a real edge on it so it'll actually do a little more than just bounce off a log when you try to stick it in so anyways uh yeah let's uh let's get into the work
Well, dude, as you can see behind me, I tried a back cut first on a really bad back leaning red pine, and that tree is stuck. I've got one, two, three, four, seven wedges stuck in it, and uh, she's holding strong there. And it's to the point where I have a double wedge, and it's just starting to smush down the stump wood. So uh, I'm going to call it because I don't feel like dying out in the woods alone today. And. Uh, I'm gonna come out here with skid steer tomorrow and push it over if it hasn't fallen over overnight. So, can't win them all, but at least it's a tree in the middle of the woods and it's not next to a house. So, the snow is starting to come down heavy. I gotta get the snowmobile put away, but, um, yeah. A lot of firewood cut today. No more. Wow, we got one more 10 foot uh, log we can use for something in the barn. So, but otherwise, that's. I'm feeling a little defeated. I beat on that thing so hard for so long. I got blood coming through my glove. Oh, man. Kind of mangled my hand, but it is what it is. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me do stupid shit out in the woods. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.